Ah, Twitter. You crack me up all the time. Hey there, it's ya boy. Kristen Blaze, back, back, back after oh so long. Oh, oh so long. Long story short, I quit Magic the Gathering, sold my collection, bought a uh, minivan, got a job working full time, more than 40 hours a week, most of the time. Had a third child, and I'm still on Twitter trolling because <laughs> that's all I know. But today we're going to do a little PSA. PSA to all sex workers, dancers, um, uh, F, S, S, W, I have no idea what the fuck that means. I'm guessing something sex worker. And 18 plus Snapchatters. You better be 18 or plus if you're on uh, premium Snapchat, I'll say. This post is incorrect. You do, at the very least, have to pay a self-employment tax in the U.S. You have to pay that roughly every quarter. I mean, you can you know you can kind of not pay it, but I would recommend paying it. And the whole don't worry unless you make twenty thousand dollars a year or more is bullshit. The numbers I've seen can go as low as twelve thousand. But again, we're talking federal. We're not talking your individual state. And if you live in New York like I do, you have a city tax for New York City and the state tax for New York State and then your federal tax on top of that. So it can get real, real, real tricky. Now how can I, I, Tristan Blaze, the genius of the internet, the um, person who uses the uh, Young Turks level of investigative research, figure that this brilliant uh, mom streamer, Pokemon Go hunter, dinosaur enthusiast, uh, future wildlife biologist. How did I figure out what she couldn't figure out? Well, I went to the IRS.gov website. You know, the guys and girls who actually, you know, do the tax codes and shit. So, this is right here. It's IRS, gov, business, small business, self-employed, self-employed individuals. You're a cam girl. You're a sex worker. You are in business for yourself. Unless Durex is paying you to show condoms on your stream. Or unless, you know, Astroglide is, you know, promoting you on Snapchat with your amazing high-tech dragon dildo collection. And trust me, you're, you're going to need some lube if you got that collection going. You are by definition, in business for yourself. So, you are self-employed, including a part-time business, meaning you uh, you do a premium Snapchat and you only work, say, 10 hours a week. It's part-time, but it's still a business you are self-employed in. So what are your tax obligations? As a self-employed individual, generally you are required to file an annual return and pay estimated tax quarterly every three months. You must pay a self-employment tax as well as income tax. Your self-employment tax is, in terms of my paycheck, the Social Security and Medicare tax. Okay? In general, anytime, though, and again, you can find this on the IRS website. It, it's free. You're on Twitter right now. I'm assuming it's free to go to the IRS website because it was, it was free for me. And I have a lowly factory job. So anytime the wording self-employment tax is used, it will, re, it, it will normally refer only to Social Security and Medicare taxes and not any other tax like the income tax. To determine if you are subject to the self-employment tax and income tax, you must figure your net profit or net loss of your business. To do this, you subtract your business expenses and your business income. Your income is the people who pay money to watch you cam, on any of the various cam sites or Snapchat or they maybe they purchase used articles of clothing that you sell or they purchase photo sets or videos. Okay, your expenses could be 
something as simple as getting your nails done, buying a new dildo, getting your hair done, buying some new clothes, paying for some guy to come over and pound your asshole. Any of those things would technically, well, except for that last one. Well, okay, technically he, technically he could be considered a paid actor at that point. So yeah, having that guy go all up in your guts and giving him a nice cut of that their money, it would be a business expense. Pub 340 or 334 tax guide for small businesses for individuals who will use Schedule C or C E Z for more information. You have to file an income tax return if your net earnings from self employment were 400 or more. So you subtract the lighting, you subtract your awesome new waterproof webcam for your squirt shows, um, your lube your sex toys, your nails, your makeup, your hair. I believe you can eh, possibly, depending on how you work your self-employed business status, maybe subtract part of your monthly expenses in terms of your bills, like electric, um, you know, air conditioning, heating, things like that. Maybe rent as well, maybe water if you're doing a shower scene. Again, that waterproof webcam really does pay off in the long run, girls. I cannot stress it anymore. So how do you make your quarterly payments? Here you go. Form 1040 ES, estimated tax for individuals. And it's a PDF form. And it contains a worksheet similar to your Form 1040. Now, you will need your prior tax return to fill out your 1040 ES. And you use your worksheet to figure out if you are required to file a quarterly estimated tax. You may not be, okay? It will contain your blank vouchers that you can use when you mail your estimated tax payments or make your payments using the electronic payment system the federal tax people have set up. If it's your first year, you will need to estimate the amount of income you expect to earn for the year. So new girls, new girls... Estimate wisely on this. If you estimate it too high, you just need to complete another form to refigure your estimated tax for your next quarter. If you estimate it too low, again, complete another form and recalculate for the next quarter. See your estimated taxes page for more information. The self-employment tax page has more information. How do you file it? Well, hey, here's information on how to file it. To file your annual return, you use Schedule C. Schedule C easy. Okay. If you are to okay to report your income or loss from a business you operated or a profession you practice as a sole proprietor, Schedule C instructions may be helpful. Now, doing CAMs, it may be a little bit different. If you have a small business of people doing CAMs, expenses of 5000 or less may be able to file the CEZ instead of the C. To find out more, see the instructions. Again, there's a lot of paperwork involved. My dad's a CPA. Trust me, I hear this every year at tax time. Every, every, oh, did you hear about this, son? Hey, did you hear about, I hear it all the time, okay? I get it. It's a pain in the ass. If you use part of your home for business, you may be able to deduct expenses for the business of your home. Remember, paying for those bills, man. I get it, man. You got you got to pay them bills, ladies. You got to pay them bills. Home office deduction is available, and it applies to all types of homes. Again, you're going to have to check that out yourself. Because I don't know what home you live in. I don't know. Do you own it? Do you rent it? Is it rent to own? Is there a mortgage? Do you live in an apartment, a condo? I don't know. Now, if you're married, oh man, that's going to be fun. If you're married, you might be able to qualify for a joint venture. And I would highly consider choosing a tax professional to prepare your taxes. I recommend my dad, uh, just, you know, because he is a CPA. And, uh, ah, you guys crack me up. Fucking love this shit. Peace out, YouTube.